Dan, uh, as I understand, you are the new president of Real Alternatives um, in Huntsville and uh, really excited to welcome you on uh, as a new president. I know there are some great things coming. But first of all, I wanted to talk about your new role and, and really what, what drew you to this organization in the first place, if we can kind of start there. Yeah, sure. I mean, I think there's a lot of overlap in terms of my work that I do with the Huntsville Fest of the Arts and, and Real Alternatives. Um, it, for those of you who don't know Real Alternatives, it's it's a ongoing film series that's been going on since actually 1998. And, uh, and it offers, as the name says, alternative films, uh, indie films, things that you might not see, no, normally see in, you know, the 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 uh, the big blockbusters, but some the films that are um, maybe a, a more independent, and um, uh, so they offer those uh, twice a month, every the the, the second and, and fourth Monday of every month, uh, and it's been off for a little while um, because of COVID, and uh, and we've also in Huntsville lost our. Uh, our movie theater. So this is, uh, we're, we're happy to say that we were now, our home is at Algonquin Theater. Um, and uh, and so as part of my work with Huntsville Festival Arts, it just, it seemed like a good fit. It's something that I, I want to promote and uh, and uh, share with people to, to bring, you know, high quality, interesting films to our community. If I can dive a little deeper on that and just ask you what about the fit works? I mean, I know it is, um, um, and you can speak to this more, it is a uh, as you said, more of an artsy style of, of, uh, of presentation, which does fit with what you're used to. But um, again, why, why does it fit so well for you? Well, you know, I think one of the things that art and film, whether it's music, art, film, um, you know, all the sort of disciplines, they can... Uh, you know, encourage all of us to think deeper, to think about ourselves, to think about the world that is around us um, and to think about our own lives and, and to consider, you know, maybe big questions or little questions. But so that to me is, and it can also great create community. So the, these are all aspects of, of what I think real alternatives can, can bring. And I say it's more on the artsy side. These are all, you know, award Lots of them are award-winning films. We have a great partnership with uh, Toronto International Film Festival. So the, it's not as if they're, you know, um, films that you're going to say, I don't, I don't know what the heck's going on in that film. Um, they're really high quality, really accessible films. Um, it's just that they're not, you know, there are no superheroes in them or not usually, right? So they're just films that that might ask you to, to you know, think a little bit deeper about things and to... Um, to think about the world around you. So, and that, that's really important. You know, it's, it's really important that, that we offer artistic um, uh, opportunities like that and experiences that, that, uh, that can share that. What is, I guess, the expectation of you as president of this organization, what, what falls on you and, and what else are you bringing in your own experience to, to help keep this organization going? Well, let me say the organization is a really uh, it's all, it's it's doing well on its own. And uh, and I'm happy that they asked me to come on board. Um, the, it's run by a group of volunteers, five of them who have been doing it for many, many years and, and who do a really fantastic, exceptional job of it. Um, and so as president, really, I'm you know, I'm, I'm coming in to um, sort of you know, be the champion of this, be the cheerleader of, of real alternatives, because a lot of the, the legwork that the, the group is already doing. So I'm, uh, I'm really thrilled that they were, they asked me and, and I'm coming in on, uh, you know, behind uh, Rob Saunders, who, who I actually took over for at, at the Huntsville Festival of the Arts as well. So it seems that, you know, I'm that, that, that seems to be my role now is to uh, pick up where Rob is, as is, is leaving off Rob stepping back a little bit. He's doing some other things. And so um, that, I'm very excited to be to be on board and to uh, to see, you know, uh, bringing this back after after the long pandemic as well. I, I think it's well needed and in, in, in our community. I, I mean, I would say on a personal uh, note, if uh, you know, if your management of Huntsville Festival, the arts bleeds over into real alternatives, I think it's in for a very bright and vibrant future. 
Mm. Um, well, that's very nice of you to say. <laughs> no, happy to say it. Um, you told us before that, uh, yeah, the new home, a permanent home, is uh, Algonquin Theatre now. So t- tell me about this decision and, and how this actually does benefit Real Alternatives. Yeah, I mean, so like the decision was sort of, uh, you know, what what venue can, can um, you know, allow us to bring these films what what venue has the equipment and the seating and and uh and obviously the 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 local cinema closed down during covid and there's no uh, no sort of plans or at least that i know of 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 a new cinema um and the algonquin theater has, has you know fantastic equipment great staff uh it has it's a beautiful theater with nice acoustics and large screen um so i think it really it, it's it's beneficial. It it meets the needs of you know of presenting these films uh, in in a quality way and giving people a great experience. Um, but it's also you know for lack of a better it's it's the cultural arts and cultural home of uh, of Huntsville. Um, you know there's lots of different things going on, but that it is the closest thing we have to a you know cultural center. So uh, it's it it makes a lot of sense for it to to come there and uh, and the whole staff, you know, to help promote it and, and bring more people in to enjoy these high quality films. So let's talk about the return here. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, twice a month where we would be getting offerings here. And I know uh, November is, is the start of this. Tell me about what is coming up. Yeah, so uh, actually this Monday we have a, a great really, really fun film called Official Competition. It's got Antonio Banderas in it and uh, Penelope Cruz. Um, and it's a, it's a very funny uh, uh, comedy about, about filmmaking, actually, um, and, uh, and having to do with Cannes Film Festival. So it's, it's a real hoot. Um, and then we have on uh, the date is November 7th. So when we get into November 7th, um, there's a great very uplifting film called Peace by Chocolate. And it, it actually tells the real story of a Syrian refugee whose chocolate factory was, or business was was um, burned down in, in the conflict there and who has settled in on the East Coast and uh, and has started his own chocolate, uh, you know, making chocolate again um, and doing really charitable work uh, as part of that. So that's a really uplifting, fun film. And then we get into December, actually, we're doing a Buffy St. Marie uh, documentary, which uh, just screened at TIFF as well. So, uh, like I said, the, these aren't necessarily films that you're going to be scratching your head over, but they are films that will move you and uh, and and are really worthwhile seeing. And uh, we'll keep going. We, we, we tend to, with the programming, we want to adapt and keep things fresh. So the, the programming for the, the new year will be coming, uh, will be announced soon as 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 it kind of uh, we, we adapt and, and figure out, you know, what those new films that are coming out are. So fantastic. Let's finally just talk about how people can learn more and, and uh, ticket prices as well. I know the money is is used quite, uh, you know, importantly in the community, too. Absolutely. Yeah. So the 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 um, uh, any any sort of um, surplus uh, from ticket sales. Uh, we, we, we usually donate to uh, different uh, organizations or causes around uh, the community. So um, uh, it, it is a, a, an organization that gives back and we're, we're happy and proud to do that. Um, and uh, what was the other question? Sorry. There and, and tickets. just about ticket prices and where people can learn more information about. Right. The, uh, Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, you can find us online, Real Alternatives. Uh, dot ca and also uh, through the Algonquin Theater as well too. Um, so you can check that out. Uh, and uh, we look forward to yeah, as I said this Monday, uh, we've got a, a movie coming up, and uh, we'd love to see everybody come on out and uh, and see it starts at seven p.m. That's fantastic, Dan. Thanks very much. And again, just to reiterate the classic movie experience, if you're looking for that again, because we have lost our theater in Huntsville, you can find it at Algonquin Theater, and you can find it with some really great movie offerings. So. Thank you very much, Dan. Uh, looking forward to your term as president with this organization and all the great things that are coming with that. Thank you, James. 